Okay. So, okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Dinesh Prasad, matrix number 208308. So, today we are here to present our Lean uh, business, business Model Canvas. So, what is Lean Canvas? So, Lean Canvas is a planning method that helps us to get to the heart of our idea. It puts everything in one page like this, helping us to see, help, helping us to set out the key information that we need in our business. So, uh, so pa 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 passing the presentation to the first segment, which is customer segments. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to non-Muslim. I am Nur Amira Atira binti Muhammad Zahzi. My metric number 206287. Uh, my uh, point is customer segment. Uh, what customer segment? Customer segment is uh, that we are a target uh, customer. The first uh, target customer that we choose is a uh, university student UPM. Uh, second, uh, school student Sri Serdang. And next, um, low income resident. The last one, uh, online shoppers. We think, uh, think uh, that the target customer um, uh, need to buy our product uh, because uh, the product will help customer over infection COVID-19. And the second, uh, we, uh, the, the, our product is uh, uh, cheap, only 10 ringgit. We think our target customer can buy uh, this product. That's uh, all for me. Then uh, the next uh, presented. Hi, my name is Honor Emilia Arina Binti Wong Ismail. My metric number is 205226. Uh, okay, now I will explain about early adopters. The scheme of early adopter refers to an individual or business who tries new product, innovation, or technology before most other consumers. Early adopters are important for the success of a product as they provide companies and other consumers with insights on how the product will function on a day-to-day -day basis. Therefore, for our product, we have placed down a few characteristics and behavior of our target, which have users who love safer and reasonable price, skin product, users who always want to try new products, and those who have a mindset of not having to spend much money for hand sanitizers. Okay, that's all. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Adela Shakira Bintu Mahadi. My metric number is 208098. So, I will present you about the problem. Before that, what is problem in Lean Canvas? Problem in Lean Canvas are way of formulating and presenting the problem and helping us to understand the opportunity in the business. So, the first one, most of hand sanitizer are costly and expensive. Therefore, customers are likely do not want to buy their hand sanitizer because they want to save the budget. Next, uh, the customer who is a student of UPM are hardly to uh, are hardly to get a hand sanitizer, especially in campus. Since now students are restricted to edit the campus, and if you're selling the hand sanitizer in the campus, it is easier for them to get the hand sanitizer and to buy. Uh, the third one, hard to find the refill hand sanitizer. So most of hand sanitizer do not have refill. So if customer buy the new hand sanitizer, they need to spend more money on that. And it's going to be a waste since they use new container of hand sanitizer. And the last one, it's rare to find hand sanitizer with perfume. And uh, which means like the hand sanitizer that we're going to sell act like dual function. And moreover, other hand sanitizer are ineffective because some of them do not kill the germ 90%. And not all hand sanitizer are ideal for all skin types that have variety of scent. Next. Okay, next I'll be explaining about the existing alternatives. So what is existing alternatives? So existing alternatives is that we are listing down uh, how the problems mentioned are currently being solved in, in current market. 
so what are the existing alternatives uh, for our product similar to our product is that first is pen like hand sanitizers so pen like hand sanitizers uh, uh, correlates with our product which is which is having dual function which is also which is uh, perfume and also hand sanitizer but this pen like hand sanitizers uh, has dual function too but then one side will be pen and also another side will be hand sanitizers so uh, and then next um, existing product alternatives is that small bottle hand sanitizers as we have mentioned uh, the problem is to bring uh, hand sanitizers as compact and it is easy to bring along and use but then they, there are uh, existing alternatives such as small bottle hand sanitizers in current market so the last point will be variety of hand sanitizers outside campus so our main pro, our main purpose is to sell hand sanitizers inside campus for the students that are that are can go outside and so can uh, get hand sanitizers inside the campus but then what happens if uh, they can uh, the students tend to leave campus and then and then buy hand sanitizers so there will be variety of hand sanitizers that each student can pick then these are the existing alternatives that we have to be uh, competing with so mo moving on to the next point moving on to the next point will be me so revenue streams okay so what are revenue streams so revenue streams are the various sources from which our business can earn money so the first point will be previous users of hand sanitizers uh, hand sanitizer by refill so as we know our product uh, there is two so we are selling refills and also hand sanitizers so only the uh, Uh, customers who are buying our hand sanitizers tend to buy the refill so this is a this is one way for us to get money from the uh, sell, sales of refill so the next point will be 4 ringgit 50 cents for the for a hand sanitizer after we did our financial planning and calculated the cost for uh, making a hand sanitizer and then selling the hand sanitizer we can uh, roughly earn 4 ringgit 50 cents from each hand sanitizer and then the last point will be whole sum income from selling to schools and universities so this is like our main purpose is to sell uh, hand sanitizers to the low income people and though and also the students that can uh, buy uh, hand sanitizers uh, can afford to buy hand sanitizers so with that we are selling as a whole as a bulk to uh, university students also school students with that we can also earn money uh, earn revenue from our business so the next point i'll pass the presentation to the next presenter My name is Nora Mirabenti Maisho. My number is three two zero five two eight six. Today I will present about solution. There are six uh, solution that have. Uh, first, uh, we are open booth in cafe, faculty, and also Sri Sergan. So it is uh, easy to student and associate sanitizer. Second, uh, price of hand sanitizer that we sell uh, below ten ringgit. Uh, it means uh, it can reduce uh, the purchasing. Uh, that to in one hand sanitizer uh, with perfume. Uh, for uh, we also provide refill, so no need to buy another hand sanitizer. Next, uh, our design of uh, hand sanitizer uh, is like a pen, uh, small, and it means easy to carry everywhere. Uh, last one is uh, we use uh, alcohol above seventy percent, so it is um, guaranteed to be protected from uh, COVID germ. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you. I will pass to the next presenter. Okay. First of all, a learning value proposition of VPP is a way of telling potential customers about the benefits our business provides. Our refillable pen like sanitizer and also as perfume. Pack in a convenient to use and to be carried everywhere due to its small and compact shape. In addition, our main goal is to help people, especially students who are unable to afford hand sanitizers and perfumes that are currently in the market. Now everyone can own a hand sanitizer as our product made affordable for you, which it only costs seven ringgit. Last but not least, our hand sanitizer comes in a gel and spray texture. A quick spray is all it takes. To help reduce the spread of germ, pull off the cap on the spray like sanitizer bottle to spray the sanitizer onto hands. Our product formulated with more than seventy percent alcohol that very effective for killing ninety nine percent of the germs on your hands.
Okay, so I'm going to continue concept. Hi, my name is Alena Deira Binti Jamil. My metric number is 206463. So what is high level concept? High level concept is a way to describe clearly what our business are uh, in a way of specialty and also uniqueness and how it is different from the existing product. So the first one is dual purpose or dual function where it comes in two versions, which is gel and spray. Um, our hand sanitizer can act as perfume and also hand sanitizer. So this will fulfill our customers' interest in various types, whether they can choose um, when uh, they want to use it in gel or spray type. The next one is it can be refilled once it's finished, since our hand sanitizer has its own compartment where you can actually refill it. Um, in addition, we also provided um, a refill so it can be much easy and convenient for our customer to use it. So I'm going to pass to the next presenter. Okay, next is channels. My name is Nur Shafara Zura. My metrics number is 206499. First of all, what is channel? Channel describes the method by which a product moves from producer to consumer. So first, we will create advertisement on social media so that many can be aware or see the product that we're going to sell. Next, we will sell and promote on Shopee and Lazada because there are, many, there are many people like to buy on Shopee because it's cheaper. And lastly, we will sell wholesale to university students and students who attend school in the Serdang area so that it is easy for them to reach out the product. Okay, next, I will pass the presentation to key metrics. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Farah. So I'll be explaining about the key metrics. So what is key metrics? So what is key metrics? Key metrics is, the, is that we are listing our key numbers that tells us how our business is running. So this helps us uh, to track our business, whether it's going in the right path or whether it's uh, moving to a loss uh, state. So we have uh, listed three main key metrics. Uh, first one will be sales of refills, then next income, and then the last one will be comments and feedbacks in Lazada. So we will look into uh, each uh, point in detail. So why we chose sales of refills is that we might be unaware of, the say, uh, of this point which is we might be aware of sales of our hand sanitizers, but then we might we tend to be unaware of our sales of refills. So sales of refills is one of the fundamental uh, part in our business because it is giving us uh, another part of revenue. So we should be tracking our sales of refills. So next point will be income. So income comes with income, expenses, and also uh, profit. So main reason why we are doing business is to make profit. Uh, so uh, by tracking down our income and expenses, we know, okay, this part, we, we are having high expenses. How can we cut down the cost? How can, and how can we cut down the expenses? So with that, we can automatically increase our profit. So the uh, last point will be comments and feedbacks in Lazada. As we are planning uh, to sell our product in online platform, which is Lazada, we can look into the reviews. So what are the customers are giving uh, what are the customers, uh, uh, what type of comments that are giving. So with that, we can improvise our product uh, because the main purpose we are selling is to satisfy the customers. So those are the three main key metrics. So I'll pass the presentation presentation to the next presenter. Okay, thank you, Dinesh. Now my turn uh, is to explain the cost structure. So cost structure, I refer to the various type of expenses a business and typically composed of fixed and variable cost. Even within a company, cost structure may vary between product line, division, or basic uh, unit due to the distinct type of activity they perform. So manager may have some control over the proportion based on the responsibility. Uh, an, an example might be the investment. So for variable cost utility, uh, alcohol uh, for the hand sanitizer, which we get from the chemo or your chemical research and the, the, the alcohol supplier, uh, for the next flower, flower that at percent in our hand sanitizer perfume, which we get from Lau Brother Flower Farm from the flower supplier. 
marketing expenses and lastly product development. Product development means after we sell the hands and tether, we will in care product. And for the fleet cost utility, the casing machines are from the machine aspect engineering that modify the pen making. And, and lastly, lab brand from the fourth lab laboratory in Malaysia. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Namirah Alif bin Kamal. My metric number 206951. I will continue with unfair advantage. Unfair advantage is something that cannot be easily copied or bought by your competitor. Uh, the first one is dual function. Dual function consists of uh, perfume and sanitizer. So customer no need to buy any type of perfume uh, because it, it is two in one. Second is sm small and compact. Uh, customer can apply this product everywhere because this product is like a pen. Uh, it is easy to bring together. And the third one is gel and spray texture. The texture consists gel and liquid. So it is help customer distinguish uh, which one is perfume and sanitizer. And four is refillable. Customer can refill and save money. And the last one is unique objective. That's all for me, thank you. All right, so we have uh, reached to uh, our end of our presentation. So this is our business, uh, hand sanitizer and perfume dual function product. So this is our lean uh, business model Canva. So thank you guys.